Have you seen this? That's a little too close for comfort, lady. Oh, oh, oh damn. Um... Well, you've never seen a talking gargoyle before? Welcome to Illuminati headquarters. I mean, Denver International Airport. <laughs> this is awesome. Hello. Do I know you? Are you hungry? Oh, I'm starving. You got anything for me? Those flowers look delicious. Oh, my God. Oh, it's because of the conspiracy. Oh, it's because of the conspiracy. Look at me. I'm a little know-it-all. Will you get back over here? I got a question about this conspiracy. Did you have to buy an extra seat for your hat, sir? Sir, are you stealing a desk? Sir, you have resting, confused face. Do you have a favorite animal or pet? A caterpillar. A caterpillar? Wouldn't you rather have a gargoyle? No! Yes! You know, you can actually put the phone down and have a conversation with me. But no, I'm a millennial. I've got to post it. I've got to snap face it and Twitter book it. Excuse me, miss, I've got a stain that needs some polishing. Can I borrow your cleaning cart? Oh, no. I need your help. Guess what my favorite food is. What? No, I want you to guess. Um, uh, cumin? Cumin. Yes, I love cumin. <gasps> I said cumin. Oh, I thought you said cumin. I'm a real big spice guy. <laughs> Furry hat guy. I can't believe you are wearing one of my friends. Hey, this isn't your friend. It used to be until you put it on your head, man. <laughs> How old are you? Well, 243 years old now. I look good for my age, don't I? Yeah, work out. All the time. You should see my squats. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a sweet talker. Will you take me back home with you? Let's go. I have some space in my backpack. Actually, I think you have too much baggage for me. <laughs> Not sure what to say about that. He's 243 years old and is here to clear the air on all the conspiracies at the Denver airport. Turns out this gargoyle is wiser than we thought and is sharing more than we planned, along with giving travelers his two cents. He's surprising them, <clears throat> excuse me, with smiles and plenty of laughs. We believe interna uh, interactions at this airport should not only be helpful, but fun, too. That's the art of airporting. Yeah, but they're not disclosing what it is, how it is. This gargoyle is um, interacting with humans as if it's uh, kind of uh, human. Have you seen this? Belief in conspiracy theories makes people more likely to engage in low-level crime. Yeah, that's the main finding from new research by a psychologist at the University of Kent in Staffordshire into the wider impact that conspiracy beliefs can have on behavior. An actual professor, Karen Douglas of Kent School of Psychology, was one of a team of four researchers to show that belief in conspiracy theories previously associated with prejudice, political disengagement, and environmental inaction also makes people more inclined to actively engage in antisocial behavior. Findings indicated that people who believe in conspiracy theories were more accepting of everyday crime, such as trying to claim for replacement items, to claim for replacement items, refunds or compensation from a shop when they were not entitled to do so. Exposure to conspiracy theories made people more likely to intend to engage in everyday crime in the future. The researchers found that this tendency was directly linked to an individual's feeling of a lack of social cohesion or shared values known as anime. Professor Douglas said, our research has shown for the first time the role that conspiracy theories can play in determining an individual's attitude to everyday crime. It demonstrates that people subscribing to the view that others have conspired might be more inclined toward unethical actions. And Dr. 
Jan or Dan Jolie of Staffordshire University said people believing in conspiracy theories are more likely to be accepting of everyday crime while exposure to theories increases a feeling of anime which in turn predicts increased future everyday crime intentions. Wow, we're criminals. Unethical. Antisocial. How about this? Negative childhood experiences can lead people to believe in conspiracy theories. Belief in conspiracy theories stems in part from negative early childhood experiences with caregivers. Hmm. Anxious attachment style were more likely to believe in conspiracy theories. Anxious attachment style is formed in childhood when a caregiver is inconsistently available. Once formed, this attachment style perseveres in adulthood where it colors many aspects of people's lives, such as their friendships and attitudes. Anxious attachment style also explain belief in conspiracy theories whilst taking into account other important factors, such as general feelings of mistrust, age, education, and religi religiosity. Wow. I don't know about you guys, but I, I am really tired of living in this world that has manifested.